Hey everyone, today's video is going to be my Bath and Body Works semi-annual sell haul. So, um, I decided, um, to pick up some soaps and I picked up my soaps online. They were having, um, soaps for $3 and then it was like get 10 off of 40. Um, some of them were $3, some of them were $3.25, which I do frown upon. I try to not buy them unless they are three dollars or less and then have a coupon but i was really running low on like spring and summer soaps like i honestly think i maybe have one more bottle left and then all the rest of my soaps upstairs are christmas and fall so i did need to stock up so i did that and then um later in the week i went to the store well not not super late in the week but this past couple of days, they've had a 1050 candle sell. So I decided to visit the store and I picked up four candles at the store and um, of course used my 10 off 40. So I'm going to show you guys the soaps first because it's the least interesting. I'm not going to smell all of these, but I just wanted to show you guys what I got and then we'll move on to the candles. So again... I've said it so many times, my preference is the foaming hand soap. So all of these are going to be the foaming hand soap. And I will say that when I received these, they were not shrink wrapped. I remember my, um, when I would get hand soaps in the, in the uh, mail, I would get them and they would be shrink wrapped at the top. And some of these feel like a little bit like tacky. And like this one, I don't know what that is. I didn't even try to open it to even see. But like this one feels so gross. Um, and I just wish they would do that again. I mean, or figure out some way to do it. Because I'm not kind of not um, into the excess plastic. But um, I don't know. I can tell like one or two of these maybe leaked a little bit and dried on here. But anyhow, I'm just going to show you guys what I got. This first one is Fiji White Sands. The notes on this one, I didn't even check to see where the notes are at. White Sands, Vanilla Orchid, and Warm Amber. This is one I really, um, really like. I've had it multiple times and I really enjoy it. And I love the um, scenery on here. The photo labels are so pretty. So I got that. Then I got Tiki Shore. This one, like what does that even mean with sea minerals? Anyhow, this one is coconut, milk, vanilla, orchid, and golden pineapple. Right up my alley. I love those kind of scents, especially for summer. And that label's really pretty too. I did pick up this one. This is Cabana Breeze. And Cabana Breeze is succulent, pineapple, tear, blossom, and creamy coconut. Um, I just love pineapple, vanilla, coconut, especially in the summer. The next one I have here is pink petal tea cake. This is, um, pink rose petals, pound cake, and vanilla glaze. The infamous pink petal tea cake that everyone loves. And, um, I did, I have smelled this in the candle, um, and I mean, I like it, but I'm just not a big floral person or rose person, so it didn't do anything for me. Um, the soap smells good, but it's nothing like mind-boggling in my opinion. This next one here is Champagne Toast from this cute little like cityscape collection. These labels are so cute. Champagne Toast is bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. This is another scent I really, really like. Um, I got this one, Perfect Beach Day, mainly because I thought the label was so cute. And this one is Watery Melon, Coconut, and Sparkling Bergamot. All good stuff. Um, I got Turquoise Waters. See, this one feels a little grimy. Um, this is Bergamot, Daylily, and Sea Spray. So a couple of these, like, when I go to put them at the sink, I'll probably have to, um, like, rinse them because they just feel... This one especially, and I think there's maybe like, where is it at? I don't know. It just looks like it's not on there right. So, anyhow, this one's Fresh Lemonade. And, oh, that's cute. This says um, Lemon Juice, Lime Twist, and Sugar Crystals. Sounds really nice. Lavender Marshmallow. 
this is lavender vanilla marshmallow and warm amber um so i have it coming up in an empty soon um the marshmallow flurries that i think they brought out like last christmas oh i was really hoping this smelled like that but i think the marshmallow flurries has some type of toasted note in it and um let's see yeah this doesn't have that it smells really good though but it is definitely like a soapy um lavender but that marshmallow flurries i hope they bring that back because i loved that one this one is midnight blue citrus and i really like this scent so i've never had it mm, i've never had it in a candle but i've had it in soap multiple times and i really like it i should just get it in a candle this one feels so grimy and this is juicy citrus spring water and sweet mango see that yeah that's because the i don't know there just needs to be something happening up here i don't know what but <laughs> something to secure it a little better anyhow um this is such a pretty color too so it almost looks purple i know it's blue or it's probably supposed to be blue but it's such a beautiful color too just very classic looking i really like that one next up i got island papaya this one is so pretty too where are the scent notes on this this one is tropical coconut fresh papaya and sugar cane um that one has a super pretty label boardwalk vanilla cone this is van marshmallow fluff vanilla bean and creamy caramel really nice and then watermelon lemonade which i recently found that i love <laughs> Just from purchasing um, the candle, I really like this scent. This is Juicy Watermelon Sweet Meyer Lemon. So, those are the soaps I picked up. I can go um, put those in my little soap cabinet now. And then I picked up four candles. Um, I'm not a person who tries to, to hoard very much. There's a few things that I really love that I like to have on hand at all times. But generally speaking, especially with candles, there's nothing that I've had that ever makes me want to go out and purchase like multiples maybe like one backup um so even though it was a really good sell to be honest i mean as good as you can expect from bath and body works at this point in time the 1050 candles and then 10 off 40 was actually a really good sell so i wanted to take advantage i thought about buying like four more but i was like um, even though I like these scents, um, there's not, I don't want more of them. And then there was nothing else, at least at my Bath and Body Works, that made me want to purchase, um, some additional candles. So, I'm going to show you guys what I got. Uh, the first one here is Saltwater Taffy. And I was a little concerned about this one because if you watch Tina D. Valicious's I hope I said that right. Um, if you watched his video, he talked about how this is really light and um, how the scent is really good, but it's pretty light. So the scent description on this is chewy vanilla cream, fresh berries, um, juicy cherry with essential oils. Um, it just has the very basic um, Bath and Body Works lid. Um, that's what the wax looks like. Ooh, I can't. It's not as centered as I would like, but it smells so good. So to me, it is a vanilla berry scent, but something about this makes it lean a little more gourmand. I don't know if the chewy vanilla cream is like, I don't know, but it just smells like more than like a vanilla berry scent and it doesn't smell I mean, it smells sweet and candy-ish, but, but it almost, I don't know, it just has a little bit of a gourmand note to me, and I don't know what that is, but it smells really good. I'm hopeful if I start melting this and it doesn't give me the throw that I'm looking for, I will chop it up, but I just wanted to try it out, so pick that one up. Then I also picked up from the same collection, Summer Boardwalk. I already have a summer boardwalk um, that I think I purchased at last semi-annual sale, to be honest. Um, but I love this scent. So I don't think two is too many to have, and I'll melt them both during the fall. 
Summer Boardwalk is caramel glazed popcorn, water, taffy, apple, salty, sweet cream, and essential oils. And this just smells like fall. It smells like the beginning of fall. Um, pumpkin picking, apple picking. You get the popcorn in here, but it's not like overpowering. Ugh, it's so good. This is one of my absolute favorite scents from Bath and Body Works and it's always a strong thrower. Just to show you guys, this is the lid that came on this one. I don't know. It has no branding on it or anything. But I just went with it. But this scent is amazing so I'm happy to have um, one more. I also picked up Salted Pretzel Milkshake. I don't remember who I was watching but this has been getting pretty good reviews and I think the consensus is that if you are a gourmand lover you would like this scent uh so this is creamy vanilla ice cream salty pretzel bits gooey chocolate drizzle with essential oils and this um I think had some batch variations which I really didn't care that much about I just saw it so I picked it up um this smells so freaking good so to me I get the vanilla very much so I get the pretzels and I get the saltiness. I'm not getting a ton of a chocolate note yet, but it is. It's like a really nice gourmand vanilla scent right up my alley. So I'm so glad I picked that up. And then this one has that kind of like wavy lid. And then finally, the last one I got is this one here. So my Bath and Body Works had quite a few of these little flat um, flat and round candles. And this one I got is Cactus Blossom. I got it just to try it out since um, I don't see these often. This has the basic Bath and Body Works um, lid on it. You can see the difference here. And then the height difference there. So... Um, Cactus Blossom is Cactus Flower Petal, Sunkissed Coconut, Vanilla, and Fresh Sparkling Lemon. I've never had this scent before, but when I smelled it, I absolutely loved it. It is like a perfumey, um, like beachy scent, and it really reminds me of something, and I cannot for the life of me put my finger on it, but it smells like a perfume I've had or body spray, or something. Ugh, I hope it will come to me at some point. You can see how the wicks are on this one. They're kind of um, more sprawled out, um, I guess because the um, wax is so much wider in this. And so I'm really curious to see how this low profile uh, candle um, turns out. Again, this smells so good, but it really, ugh, maybe, maybe it's a little pink chiffonish. I don't know. It smells so good though. So I'm excited to melt this one. Also really excited to melt it because it is unique and something I have never had from Bath and Body Works. But, um, that is it. That's my haul. I don't plan on picking up anything else, um, if something crazy happens and they just put all the candles 75 off or something like that, maybe. But <laughs> at this point in time, I'm pretty happy with everything I have picked up. I hope you guys are scoring really big at the cell. Also hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.